Number eight, a sonar echo returns to a submarine 1.2 seconds after being emitted. What is the distance to the object creating the echo? Assume the submarine is in the ocean and not in fresh water. Okay, so basically uh, this assumption, when they're telling us to assume this, you gotta look it up in the text. Uh, the, uh, the, sp the velocity in salt water, or just salt water here, is gonna be about 1,540 meters per second. Okay, that's gonna be the approximate speed of sound in salt water. All right, just keep that in mind. Now what happens is we have a submarine. All right, so let me display my artistic abilities here. And uh, it looks more like an airplane. Uh, actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what is exactly. It looks like one of those, one of those tests they might give you to, one of those. What do they call that? Ink blot tests. What does this look like to you? Because it definitely doesn't look like a submarine to me. Anyway, um, so what we here's the submarine. It's going to send out, or here's the thing that I drew. It's going to send out a a certain sonar echo. It's going to hit some object here. And then that sonar echo is going to return back, right? It's going to return back to the uh, submarine. So the time it takes to go from the submarine to the object and then to return back, that's the important thing there, is going to be the total time there is going to be 1.20 seconds. Okay? Now, how do we find the distance? Well, all we have to simply realize now is we know velocity... Right, that's going to have to be either looked up or memorized, and we know time. So we can find distance, right? Simply by this relationship. Velocity is equal to d over t. Simple, right? Old stuff. So to find the distance here, it's just going to be velocity times time. And then to find the distance, plug it all in. So 1540 multiplied by 1.2 seconds. So let's do it. 1540 times 1 1.2. 1848. So about 1848 meters, not though the final answer. Why? Because you have to remember, this is the total time it took for the wave to travel from the submarine to the object and then return back. So basically, if the velocity is 1540 and it took this amount of time, then the distance we just calculated here of the 1848 is the total distance, or excuse me, is the distance from the submarine to the object and back. So if that's the total distance we calculated, how do we actually find then just the distance from the submarine to the object? It's this, this picture is <laughs> becoming atrocious at this point, um, but we just simply take, we just divide it by two, right? So it's going to be 1848 then divided by two, and that'll get us the, uh, distance between the two all right 1924 excuse me 924 so it's 924 meters away from the ship or the submarine or the blot of ink on the page thank you guys so much for tuning in appreciate it please help us out if you can hit that subscribe button tell your friends and uh, if this video was good hit the like button too all right helps us out a lot appreciate it take care now